Good evening to everybody. Thank you for inviting me. I'm um, very pleased to be among you today. Um, all the questions you, you have touched on, uh, George, I will try to at least to reflect on them a bit. Uh, I think um, the question about why SADC, why not uh, Africa is a very relevant one. Um, because when we talk at the, about the SADC, we also talked about uh, other uh, constellations on the African continent. The SADC is only one of the five uh, so-called uh, regional economic communities, uh, RECs. Um, the other ones are the, the, the ECOVAS for West Africa. We have one in uh, Central Africa. We have uh, the East African community and we have the organization of the Maghreb states. Um, and they are very relevant at the moment because uh, the continent is uh, on the eve of uh, um, beginning uh, the, the continental free trade area, which, was, which is supposed to be a, a, a big momentum to try to integrate the, the continent on the economic level and the RECs, the economic, uh, uh, regional economic communities, are supposed to be the, the foundations of the continental uh, uh, integration. And why Germany and Europe? I think um, I'm very happy to be here because I will end my uh, small presentation with a task for you. Uh, what I will try to show you is that uh, even if the partnership is uh, focused on Germany and uh, SADC and Southern Africa on some of the questions which are relevant and Simone uh, pointed out the, 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 the trade issue, we have to, to look to the broader picture and it will be Europe because uh, uh, the, the, the European integration is uh, designed in such, in such a way that uh, uh, questions like uh, or topics like trade are no more handled on national level. They are uh, European uh, topics and we will have to look to that. Uh, this is introduction and now I hope I will be able to share my screen with you so that uh, we can together follow what uh, I will, I'm trying to, to share with you. Can you see that? Okay, thank you. What is the, 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 the SADC? Um, very briefly, we, if we talk about the, 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 the SADC, the Southern African Development Communities, we, we talk basically about the efforts of the countries of the region, uh, starting in the 70s or, already uh, as uh, frontline states uh, trying to support uh, each other in order to overcome uh, the, the political <laughs> oppression in countries like uh, South Africa, but also uh, Namibia at the beginning also of Zimbabwe. The predecessor of the, the current organization known as uh, SADC is uh, the Southern African Development Co Coordinating Conference established in, uh, in the 80s, it was in uh, Lusaka. And uh, the, the aim of that uh, conf uh, conference was trying to coordinate the efforts of the region uh, to support those who were under oppression. But also um, at that time they thought already about the necessity to coordinate efforts for development. Uh, the starting point was the fact that uh, uh, although they came together to uh, fight against apartheid South Africa, most of them were also in somehow dependent on South Africa. And they wanted to coordinate their efforts in order to reduce the dependency uh, to the uh, apartheid South Africa. And uh, in 1992, in Windhoek, Namibia, the um, heads of state and government of the region then uh, decided 
to change the nature of the organization, the, um, um, the, the coordinating conference was a kind of, uh, of loose network. Uh, they wanted to transform it into a, a binding, uh, a binding organization with a treaty and uh, the founding treaty was then signed in, uh, in, in Windhoek, 1992. At the beginning, as you, you can see on, uh, on the cards, you, you had uh, on the map um, the frontline state of the continental part as uh, founding members. Uh, we are speaking about uh, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Malawi, uh, Tanzania played a very big role from the beginning, uh, Mozambique, uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo joined uh, later, it was uh, uh, 1998, and uh, on the map you also, you don't see all the islands um, who also joined the organization later, and the last, the latest uh, member uh, to latest country to join the organization was the, the island of uh, Comoros. It was only uh, two years ago. Uh, in, uh, actually, last year, uh, during the, the SADC summit uh, 2019 in <clears throat> Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Um, we have seen it already in the clip, but, but I wanted to uh, speak about it uh, again. The, if you go to the, the homepage of uh, the, the Southern African Development Communities, but uh, for people like myself who uh, follow uh, the activities of uh, the organizations uh, quite, quite closely, uh, you see in all the declarations that uh, the country want really, uh, they, they want to come together in order to achieve some uh, main objectives. The first one being peace and security. And um, I think um, until some years ago, except um, countries like DRC uh, with uh, insecurity in the Eastern part, there was such a, a, something like a narrative telling, saying that uh, the Sadak region was one of the most peaceful on the African continent, that um, uh, people were worried about the fact that uh, they couldn't see the benefits of the, of the peace and of the political stability compared to other regions of the, of the continent. Um, it's something which is changing now because we see uh, that um, also uh, war or insecurity is coming back in some countries of the SADC, such as uh, um, Mozambique. Um, but uh, peace and security is something the, the country, the, 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 the region want to achieve, but they also want to achieve economic development and growth uh, in order, as we have seen also in the clip, the clip to alleviate poverty uh, in the region. Uh, they want to uh, increase the, 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 the quality of life uh, of the people of the region, but they also want to support uh, particularly people who are disadvantaged. It's very important to um, emphasize this objective because as we will see in this, the next uh, slides, it's, um, um, it's very interesting to compare what the, they have as objectives on the paper, what also they repeat every year when they meet during the SADC summit, uh, the, the communiques, the declarations uh, they, they release Compare, to, to compare it with what uh, we, we see as, uh, as policy, uh, policy which is uh, of, uh, most of the time also in contradictions uh, to the objectives they have formulated and they want to pursue. The, um, 
I thought about what I can do in order for for me to 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 uh, to try to to show you the discrepancies between the objectives on the one side and the the um, the real the realities on the ground. And uh, myself, I've been part of uh, a, a grassroots movement. The, the Sadiq People Summit. It started uh, um, more than um, 15 years ago uh, during the Sadiq Summit uh, hold in uh, the, the island of Mauritius, where people said, we don't want to leave these regional organizations to the elites. We want it to be also a grassroots movement. We want to come together and reflect on what we want the SADC to be, the SADC we want. And uh, some of the organizations involved there, um, or, or one of the biggest organizations involved in the SADC People's Summit is the, the, the Rural Women Assembly. It's, uh, it's very present in South Africa, but it also present in all the, in the most of the SADC countries. And uh, operate with uh, what we see there, the, that uh, uh, they say about themselves, nothing for us without us. It means if the elites are meeting some, somewhere to decide on what, uh, what is good for, for us, they have to consult us. And uh, this movement have been everywhere where the heads of state and government and uh, the ministers and uh, other officials of the SADC meet every year uh, for the SADC summit uh, to discuss the orientations of the region. Uh, those grassroots movements and social movements are also there. And uh, I have tried just to take the, the topics um, of the SADC People's Summit and to compare them with the official topics uh, of the SADC. I started uh, in the, 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 with the one in Bulawayo, 2014. You see um, there, reclaiming SADC for people's development. SADC resources for SADC people. It's what the SADC People Summit uh, has chosen as motto for the SADC Summit, for the SADC People Summit. On the other hand, you have the official uh, one uh, speaking about the SADC strategy for economic transformation um, and uh, how to use the, the, the diverse resources of the region for sustainable development, sustainable and social development through value addition and beneficiation. Um, the second one I've chosen was in, um, in Swaziland, the heads of state and government made in um, Babane and the Sadiq People's Summit uh, took place in uh, Manzini. And the Sadiq People's Summit uh, was reflecting on a people's driven SADC committed to total liberation for all. And the official ones has the, 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 the topic, resource mobilization for investment in sustainable energy infrastructure for an inclusive SADC industrialization and for the prosperity of the region. The next one in Windhoek, uh, 2018, and uh, there in uh, Namibia, uh, both the SADC People Summit and the SADC Summit took place in Windhoek. It's not uh, always the case, as we, we have seen in the, the, uh, the two others. The SADC People Summit was reflecting on people-to-people -people solidarity, rebuilding hope and resistance in the region. And the official SADC was dealing was with promoting infrastructure development and youth development for sustainable development. The next one I've chosen was uh, last year and both uh, were in Dar es Salaam and we had uh, the possibility also to interact a bit. Um, the Sadiq People's Summit was 
speaking about rebuilding people's movement within the, the challenges of the, the, the region who is facing like uh, uh, climate change, but also, but also uh, political and socioeconomic emergencies. And uh, they pointed out also the issue of uh, democracy, the demo uh, democratic challenge. And uh, I can remember that uh, in the debates we have, we had there in Dar es Salaam, uh, Zimbabwe, and uh, the situation in Zimbabwe played a very big role. And uh, again, the official one um, reflected on uh, uh, inclusive and sustainable in industrial development uh, and intra trade, uh, intra regional trade. And uh, I wanted to, to share with you what uh, one of uh, the South African activists was saying 2017, 2017, the Sadiq People Summit took place at the Constitutional Hill in Johannesburg. And while we were there, the heads of state and government were meeting in Pretoria. And uh, we couldn't really inter interact because we were also not allowed to, to organize our demonstration in Pretoria. And uh, Trevor Ngwane, South African activists were saying, uh, we must go to the, the SADC heads of state and government summit in Pretoria and to say to them, you do not represent our interests. We will go there and tell them, you do not represent our interests. And if you look at uh, the, the topics, you will see that uh, the, the perspective of the heads of state and government is a different one. Is uh, the, 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 the topics of, of, of the Sadiq People's Summit are formulated from uh, a perspective of resistance. You see the views of people who are suffering. We don't, who, people who don't see the benefits of, uh, uh, of the organization, where they expect, for example, the Sadiq to step in when elections are stolen in Zimbabwe or when uh, democra uh, the, the, the democracy is not allowed, uh, democratic rules are not allowed in Swaziland uh, or in other countries, the SADC institutions go there, uh, they, they do uh, election observation, for example, and most of the time they come up with a declaration saying there were maybe some irregularities but they were not so massive that uh, they, they, they may have changed the, 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 the outcome of the elections. Also, you can see in the topics that we, have, uh, we are dealing with two different perspectives from the grassroots and from the, from, from the elites. Now, what's going on within the region as uh, dynamics and uh, uh, discrepancies between uh, the grassroots and uh, the elites who are running the organization, um, it also what informs the relations of the, the region with uh, other regions. The, 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 the static region is uh, trading with other world region like uh, the European Union, but also with other countries like uh, the US, uh, the, the US, like the China and uh, India, Brazil and, and, and others. And the most important thing, I think, in the context of uh, uh, reflecting the, the partnership between uh, Europe or, or Germany and uh, Southern Africa is the, the issue around trade, the economic partnership agreements. It's what I uh, want, wanted to represent on, uh, on these slides. It's a very long process. The negotiation started uh, 2002, and uh, the SADC region is the only region among the five African regions which has signed a economic partnership agreement with the European Union. 
In other regions, we have uh, um, countries like Ghana or uh, Ivory Coast. We have Kenya in East Africa. We have also Cameroon in Central Africa. Uh, but in the Sadiq region, it's uh, the region. But I always also show that uh, it's not the world region which is concerned by the economic partnership agreement, uh, but some some countries of uh, of the region, the countries we can see we can see the uh, seven countries, all other countries which are part of the Sadiq as we know it from from Africa. Um, have negotiated through other, other constellations, uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo, for example, uh, as part of the Central African region, but uh, there's no agreement signed there. Uh, Tanzania as part of uh, the East African region. It uh, also connected to the fact that uh, um, we have a, a very big issue of uh, overlap or overlapping memberships uh, on the continent, countries being uh, part of uh, uh, different regional uh, organizations. It's the case of with Tanzania, but also Zambia, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and many others. And uh, when we, sp we speak about the, the economic partnership agreements, we are, we are basically speaking about the fact that um, the, 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 the old um, uh, trade regime between Europe and Southern Africa and, and Africa was no more compatible with the, 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 the rules of the World Trade Organization, at least it's the interpretation the, the European Union is giving. It's not convincing if we have to, to discuss about trade uh, another time and in, uh, in details, I can, I can show you that uh, it's not true. Uh, it's still possible to, uh, uh, to allow uh, African countries, all African countries to trade with Europe uh, uh, free and co um, uh, duty and quota free without being obliged to open their borders for European products. It was the ad trade regime under, under Lomé. And uh, the, the new one means that uh, the countries of the Southern African region, the, the SADC uh, region has to open the, the border by reducing and um, in some cases also by abolishing all the tariffs, removing the tariffs for all the product coming from the European Union. And because uh, the, the power balance is unequal, you have on, on one part, Europe, one uh, of the, the, the richest, if not the richest regions of the world, of uh, the, uh, on the other part, uh, a region which has uh, an emerging country, South Africa, some middle income countries like Botswana, Namibia, uh, Eswatini, but you also have in that region some least developed countries like uh, Mozambique, Lesotho. Um, it means because of the, the power imbalance, the um, uh, the main beneficiary of the, 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 that new trade regime is the European Union or exactly European companies who are now allowed to export uh, to that region without uh, quotas and, uh, and duty. Um, but it doesn't mean that uh, there, there, were, uh, there are not uh, people or um, uh, sectors in the region who are also taking advantage of that of the new trade regime. We have them. For example, all the sectors uh, exporting fish to Europe, fish from Namibia, from South Africa, but also from Mozambique. Um, they they can continue to uh, export without quotas and uh, and, and duty. You can also take the example of, uh, 
uh, of those uh, exporting um, wine. And uh, we know that uh, South Africa is a big producer of, of wine and uh, countries like uh, Germany, uh, Germany is the second uh, importer of wine uh, from South Africa uh, after uh, the, the UK. And so what I want to say, uh, I want to say is the fact that you also have in the region some sector, exporting sectors uh, who uh, are taking advantage of the new uh, trade regime. But uh, if you, you, you read, I see here that I didn't uh, uh, translate the title of my slides, right? <laughs> uh, but I hope everybody can understand that. Uh, it's, uh, I'm talking about the principles of uh, partnership. Uh, if you, 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 you go deep in that uh, trade regime, you will, see, you will also see that uh, as all the so-called modern trade uh, agreements, um, they, they have a chapter on the sustainable development. And that uh, chapter on sustainable, uh, sustainable development is uh, dealing with issues like uh, human rights, uh, rule, uh, rule of law, uh, democratic processes, but also uh, reinforcing regional uh, integration. But the, the, the funny thing is that uh, um, that uh, chapter on sustainable development uh, doesn't really mean a lot because uh, it doesn't have a binding um, character. Uh, if you compare it to, to the other part of the, uh, of the agreement. And uh, the biggest issue for me, it's what we, we have to reflect in the context of partnership, that the reason why uh, trade is relevant for uh, uh, reflecting a shaping and shaping partnership uh, between uh, those two regions. Um, if you have an agreement which is violating the right of people in the SADC, right to food, right to uh, uh, education, right to healthcare, and uh, you have then a sustainable development chapter dealing with uh, issues like uh, political rights, uh, it, does, it doesn't sound uh, right uh, uh, because um, if they really uh, um, think that uh, human rights are important, they have to think about all the rights, starting from the economic right to the, uh, through the cultural right and to the political right, reducing everything to uh, the political rights just gives the opportunity to the European Union to blame, for example, uh, Zimbabwe, if the government there is not uh, um, is violating the human right or the political right of the citizen. But uh, Europe, it's blaming it, it's not blaming itself for uh, violating the, the 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 right to food or to education or to to healthcare of the people of the of the SADC. Now, just to, to give you an, uh, an overview, here again, I, I see that uh, the countries at the top are in, in German, but uh, everybody can read it, uh, I think. Uh, I just wanted to show you uh, which are the, the, the main um, power exporting to the SADC countries. You see at the top, it's Germany, and then you have GB. Uh, they won't be part of the European Union anymore <laughs> in uh, some time. And you have the Netherlands, you have Italy, and you have France. And all of them have uh, almost the same kind of products exporting to the SADC region. Um, but the most important thing, uh, that the reason why I wanted to, to speak about that, uh, it also shows the power imbalances, is the fact that if you look at, at the product, those European countries are exporting um, manufactured products with value added to the SADC region. Uh, but if you look at the, the products coming from the SADC region, um, most of the time they are um, agricultural or mineral or, or energetic 
raw product, raw material. It also shows the, the imbalances in the, the, in, in, the rela uh, in the relationships. And uh, the most important thing, why we, uh, it's, it does matter for when we speak about re relationships and partnership uh, is that uh, those kind of agreements are coming with challenges. And the biggest challenge is, the biggest challenge is faced by small scale farmers but also by uh, uh, some sectors in South Africa, for example, the poultry sector. Uh, the, the fact that uh, the South African market has been uh, flooded with uh, chicken coming from Germany, from France and from other European countries, but also from Brazil and from the, the US mean that uh, the local produ producers of, uh, of chicken uh, are being pushed out of their own market in South Africa and in Southern Africa. And if you take the example of South Africa or Namibia, you have their movements um, uh, trying to, to push the, 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 the land issue, the land reform. Land also means that people will have access to land in order to be able to, to farm. And they will farm for the local market, but it doesn't uh, bring them anything, an advantage, if they have to compete with uh, products uh, from Europe which are subsidized. And because of those subs subsidies, they are very cheap on the South African market. It means that um, a chicken coming from uh, from Fechter in Germany is cheaper than the one coming from Eastern Cape or the the, the Western Cape. It's, it's a big uh, it's a, a big challenge. In in within the, the the economic partnership agreements, they provided a a, a provision to deal with that. And uh, after South Africa has. Uh, realized that the market is, the market is uh, was flooded. South Africa wanted to activate that provision in order to, uh, to, to prevent European chicken to enter the South African market. What happened is that uh, the European Union has activated um, a kind of, um, of tribunal they have within the agreement uh, in, in order to, to, to hinder South Africa to, to do that. It also shows the kind of uh, power balance we have within those kind of, uh, um, of agreements. The um, other issue is the one coming with the, the Brexit, but it's not something we have to, uh, to discuss uh, um, um, a lot here. The, the important thing for me, and uh, I will end there, uh, we can go in the discussion, is that uh, the, the agreement we are discussing now has also uh, pushed a kind of uh, reconfiguration of the SADC region. The reason is that uh, the agreement is, has been signed with seven countries, um, six countries of the region, and Angola is now trying to join uh, that, that agreement, of, of, although uh, Angola D was not part of the negotiating process. And other countries like uh, Zambia, um, Malawi, Zimbabwe, but also the islands, um, Mauritius, the Comor, the Seychelles, the Democratic Republic of Congo are not part of that. It, mean, it means that uh, the uh, uh, the, 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 the trade regime with Europe is disturbing what the SADC wanted to achieve, uh, the regional integration as the way to, uh, to, to build up um, complementarity within the, the economics of the, the regions in order to be able to, uh, to alleviate poverty and uh, to, uh, to increase the living standards of the, uh, of the people. It's something what uh, it, it does matter for partnership uh, uh, relations because, because uh, 
in partnership, we also deal with uh, what we are facing in our life. Um, the question of uh, whether we have access to uh, resources in order to have uh, uh, to, to, to have a good life. And uh, those questions are also decided by uh, a trade, uh, trade regimes. And in partnership, we, we also deal with the possibility maybe to, to support each other in order to, um, to start maybe some small businesses and those kind of things. But uh, if uh, what is, uh, uh, all the processes going on on macro level are disturbing the small efforts we are trying to, uh, to make on uh, mi micro level, then we have a problem. And we have to reflect on that, on how we can join forces uh, in order to build uh, a kind of uh, alliances we need in the different contexts we are operating in, in order to, 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 to put pressure on decision makers uh, so that we can, uh, we, can to contribute, we can contribute to change those kind of uh, imbalances. Thank you.